2017. The European premiere event for entertainment and media professionals. An event that in 2016 attracted more than 55,000 attendees from over 159 countries for the conference and exhibition. 1,600 companies are jostling for space in the packed halls of the Rye. Hi, I'm Vanessa Ray here at IBC 2017 for In Broadcast, and I'm joined by Frank from Multidyne. How are you? Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Can you give me a brief over, overview and history of the company? Sure, sure. We're in business now. Uh, it's our 40th year, and uh, we started in test signal generators, which uh, we just won a technical Emmy for our very first product. We're very excited. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we progressed into fiber optics and then um, into some AV areas and then now with a, a distinct focus on fiber transport again and transport in general with an eye on IP, uh, which is uh, coming soon. Fantastic. And what are you really excited to be showing here at IBC this year? Well, really this year uh, is this platform we have in front of us. And the key word is modularity. So if you see here this shot, you see these little cards in here. And what was happening over the years is we would make a product that was purpose built with several signals and people would say great product but I need one more video I need one more audio that type of thing so we'd have to start over again so now we switch to this card uh, architecture so for instance this is set up where we can transport Ethernet reference 4k video we could add audio we could add data uh, multiplexer goes in here comes all out on one fiber and although custom selected if you will by the client we then send a finished uh, product form fit like that. If you need less space, i.e. one card, we have the dog bone, obviously. Love that name. That's for shape, thank you. If you want just three cards, we have this form fit. And then finally, the large uh, frame. So not only does it hold uh, up to nine cards you see in the back with uh, redundant power, hot swappable, and uh, SNMP control, it, uh, it has the optics coming out of the front. So signals come in the back via copper, come out optical, and then can be multiplexed onto one fiber and patched to your specification. Some might go onto the multiplexer, some might just go off to other parts unknown. Um, this is a 4K card I'm showing here, but it will take any of the cards we've gone through. The advantage of this platform is when you change the optical module, the copper IOs follow. So if this is a transmitter and a receiver, suddenly these copper inputs will be in and out, rather. If this is a dual transmit, they'll become dual input, and so on. So a user has the ultimate flexibility here in, uh, here in this frame. So these are shipping now, so. So it seems like this is all about flexibility yes. and definitely fulfilling customer needs. Absolutely, well put, well put, thank you. So in addition, uh, to my right here, we have the camera back systems we've been doing for quite a while. The departure this year, or addition, I should say, is 12G for 4K. So we have an upgrade for that so that you can um, not lose any of the existing functionality if you already own a unit and add 12G. We are going to have a new architecture, probably by uh, NAB, which will use cards such as these so that we have more granularity, again, flexibility to your point. And in that platform, we'll have uh, what we call a gearbox. You can take 12G f uh, 4K and then have, say, quad link 3G come out at the base or vice versa. You know, like this, uh, this camera here has a quad link out. We could have 12G come out of the base and uh, add a level of processing and uh, scalability into the transport product. And Frank, where can people get more information about Multidyne? At Multidyne.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. For In Broadcast, I'm Vanessa Ray.